We know that now Michigan, at least on a state level, has brought charges against all 16 all of these folks right that, here. Yep. That list. All right, Ellie Honig, thank you for walking us through. All right. Back to Abby. All right, I feel like I just got a semester in law school there from Ellie. Uh, back at the table here, we've got CNN political commentators Van Jones and Alyssa Farrah Griffin. Also, Caitlin Collins is still with us. Van, I want to start with you on this. I mean, the big question about this case, I think, from a political perspective, is how potent is it really? How understandable is what Trump could be facing? Yeah. Well, it's pretty understandable since everybody saw January 6th. I mean, we we're finally getting to a case that normal people can understand. The porn star stuff is kind of like mm, weird and more about his family than anything else. Uh, stealing documents and kind of showing them to your friends is wrong. And somebody who worked in the White House, I'd be in jail for doing that. But that all that stuff is kind of feels not that important to a normal person. But if you are going to disrespect democracy, attack the Capitol, do all kind of horrible stuff that would actually, you know, from most people's point of view, result in maybe a treason charge, if that's not what we're talking about here. That's real stuff. We're finally down to business. We're finally down to the stuff that's going to have Donald Trump in the history books as being probably the most dangerous president ever. And so I do think it translates. Now, whether it's going to affect voter behavior, uh, that remains to be seen. But this, this is, I think, of all the stuff we talked about, this is the indictment that's the most important.